Rich, the last time that we'll ask you for your post-match assessment. Um, beaten by a better team, James. I can keep, keep that quite short and succinct, really, tonight. Uh, yeah, beaten by a better team on the night. A couple of reasons. You know, I felt, felt we didn't. You know, we did. We didn't execute and and get to the levels we needed to get to and do things we needed to do. Uh, but at the same time, um, I think some of that laid at our feet, but also um, the relentless pressure that, that they put us under and, and played with uh, and, the, the, you know, the speed and power they played with, and which, which, you know, they set the tone defensively very, very well and made it very difficult for us. I thought we showed a lot of fight, James. I, I thought after, a, you know, a torrid start, we taught the start up all week and, you know, a, a start were nowhere near where we needed it to be. Um, but I thought we showed plenty of fight in there. Um, Sim been in the second half, I thought, thought really it was, we, we were hanging on, you know, we were hanging on and trying to get a score, but the second half, you know, they, they sort of dominated field position on the back of, you know, some of that defence I'm talking about. I was going to ask, how costly did you think those yellow cards were? I thought there were a lot of costly things for us, and that's why I'm talking about execution. I thought the yellow cards were costly. Uh, you know, when, when we're talking about missing touch, we talked to his ball players about not digging in the line too much early doors, and, and we started digging in the line. Threw a couple of crisp packets out of dummy half, kicked the ball dead on a couple of occasions, and just that's not semi final football, James. We had to go out and we had to find some points, and we had to to, to try and try some things at times. Uh, but they're the levels I'm talking about, mate. That we really uh, we really really set ourselves an even tougher challenge by. Uh, delivering, you know, delivering out on half a dozen occasions like that, where we just, you know, it just weren't good enough for a game uh, uh, when we're playing opposition of this quality. Having said all that, you end the season one win away from Old Trafford. How do you reflect on this year? Well, it's a, it's a funny one. They've just asked me that on Sky, and and it's just not been, it's just not been a regular year. Seems to say the same things every week, but we've just not had a, a regular year. So. I'm really pleased, you know, some of that fight that we saw in our team, we saw tonight. Um, and I think we have had to show some real resilience to hang in there at stages of the season where it could have got really tricky for us. Um, you know, and, and again, James, we got this far. I think, I think we played a team that would have beaten anybody tonight playing like they did. So, um, you know, proud of them, the way they've hung in. Uh, understand where we are, understand how we need to build and, and move on from here and under no illusions that, that that we have been beaten by a much better team tonight. And if they're the benchmark, then, you know, we've a bit to do to catch them up. But at the same time, I think we're heading in the right direction. And, um, you know, I think it, it's an exciting sort of couple of years in front of us, with, you know, with the way that we're building our team. Uh, tonight alert, you know, tonight alert, but it, it, it's one of them, James, that, you know, we weren't good enough. You know, we weren't good enough on the night and we weren't good enough to win that game. And, um, you know, it, it were a fair reflection on the night, to be fair. Last games, of course, for Rob and, and Connie. Connie looked really emotional as he came in half naked. Um, what can you say about the contributions of those two guys? Not just tonight. Yeah, well, Rob Lewis had a wonderful career and, and he's, he's just a champion bloke as well. Uh, you know, he's in tears in there. It's all sort of hit him straight away as soon as he come off. Um, such a popular guy within our club, even for a relatively short amount of time that he's been here. Um, and he's had, a, he's had a truly wonderful career, um, playing at the highest level for a long time. And I'll say, great guy. Connie's had a big impression on our club, as we all know. And, uh, you know, he's, he's moving over here. So, you know, he's, he's coming to a, a, a great club. You know, he's leaving one, you know, great club and, and joining another. Um, and we wish him all the best and we'll see him again next year but his contribution again uh, such a, a popular uh, and engaging guy you know I, know I know the fans have loved him he's really popular internal with us and, and Connie's the type of guy we'll miss him but unfortunately that's that's the nature of professional sport and, and salary caps and uh, you know decisions that both clubs and, and players have to make uh, from time to time, and so unfortunately, you know, but it'll, it'll go. But we'll leave with our best wishes, James. Rich, just on the um, Simbinings, I mean, there were four on the night. 
were they all? Well, what were your take on them all? Were they fair? Were they unfair? Were they harsh? Uh, I'd have to have a, I'd have to have a closer look. To be honest, I'm not really sure, Matt. I thought there were some poor calls, and let me tell you, that is not any. You know, the scoreboard, the scoreboard justifiably looks like it did, but I thought even the one where Rob Louie tackled Regan Grace and. You know, we have players tackling him and they have a load of people running and we lose the penalty. There were, there were some calls that I just mystified for a game of this level. Um, but having said that, I, I would need to look at the thin bins closer, mate, to see if they're, uh, you know, if, if they genuinely warranted it. We were too busy trying to reorganise ourselves, mate, to, to look at the replays at them particular time. So, yeah, I can't, um, yeah, I can't really tell you that one. You mentioned how relentless they are. I mean, in the first half, you had feel possession a couple of times but just couldn't execute put the ball down does that come down from how well they were playing and you maybe just were trying to force it and, and, and overplay sometimes maybe no no I don't think we overplayed I think the times we might have underplayed I'd like to have had a, a bit more of a crack at times Matt uh, but I felt there were a couple of occasions that again a lot of clubs we would have scored I think the the speed of their movement on their edges and the way that they uh, loop around and round you up uh, shut some opportunities down and you've got to be good to take your opportunities. You know, we always felt that, you know, coming here tonight, if 11 and a half points were the average of what they let in, we would have to keep Saints to that. You know, we thought two or three tries is, is what's going to potentially have to win us a game. Um, but I did think, I did think once we got through that really tough period in that 25 minutes, I did think we started to make some headway with the ball. Uh, but I'll go back to some of the earlier stuff that, you know, we, we didn't execute like we needed to. And what I'm talking about is, you know, digging in the line too far and, and loose passes going over the sideline and kicking seven tackle kicks. You just can't. You, you can't build or sustain any pressure. Again, a team, what, uh, you know, what is so frugal in allowing you to do that anyway? Uh, but I thought a couple of times in the first half, you know, we did have a crack and, and the rounded is up, you know, like they do really, really well. Cheers, Rich. Thanks, mate.